Hey guys, Brian here. Um, I know it's been a while since I've made a video, probably uh, quite a while actually, probably four or five months if not a little longer. Um, we've been working on making some changes and cleaning up AutoView and adding Floniex so everyone can now create their own trading bots for altcoins. Um, Floniex is probably the biggest altcoin exchange there is with some of the most volume. So we figure uh, this, this is a big step, big deal for us. So we're going to get started. The first thing I'm going to do today is kind of go over a couple of the quick little changes that we did to AutoView. And then we are going to go straight into creating a bot for an altcoin. So first things first, you're going to want to go to the Chrome Web Store, search AutoView. It'll be the first one here. Just grab it, add it to your Chrome. And then you'll get this little logo up in the top right corner of your browser. So you just click the extension. Right, so I, I have not, I'm going to go through the whole setup here. So you go to your uh, auto view extension. The first thing you'll notice is that we finally added the alert syntax into the extension itself. So you don't have to go to GitHub just to find out how to create your alert syntax and get your bots running. This will make things a lot easier for a lot of people. I know that. I know there's a lot of people out there that are using auto view that were simply going off examples or looking for others because they didn't even know that there was a guide for the alert syntax. So shame on us. My apologies, it is now here for everyone to see and use. Um, of course, the change log so you can see what we've added and changed over time. And uh, of course, now Poloniex. So the first thing you're going to have to do is give permission to the extension to communicate with Poloniex. Um, this is, of course, a security feature that Chrome adds. You're going to want to put your API key, your secret. Um, the add account and save accounts here is, let's say you wanted to make an account for your your dad and run a bot for him you just make the account type in your API key your secrets um, and then save the account right now you can add another account mom brother sister whoever you want a best friend uh, someone you don't like and you want to set up a shitty bot for them it don't matter so once you add the accounts then you'll go into the alert syntax and you'll see that for accounts you're just going to do an a equals kind of thing Right, so A equals that, and that alert will now specify. Well, you got to put it for every line in the alert, and that'll send signals to Dad's API keys rather than everyone else's. So that being said, we have. I'm going to delete. I don't need that account. Um, star is just for standard. It'll cover everything. So I'll set that up in a little bit. We'll leave that now, of course. Uh, so let's build a bot. Everyone knows pink is my baby. So we're going to go to pink. Create a new chart. Um, I know a lot of people have had success using different things. The whole point, or well, we've had success mostly with just getting a lot of signals and staying in the books with altcoins. Um, it's not just one open, open one long, open one short. I'm sure you can have success with that, but we've found success by just kind of having a lot of orders, um, playing the down, playing the up. Um, we've used RSI, so that's probably what I'm going to set up quickly for us now. So we got our pink coin, one minute candle. Pink coin's not the highest volume coin, so there's not much difference between a one minute candle and five minute candles. Um, we'll stick to the one. Close the alerts for now. Yeah, as you can see from the alerts, I've got a lot of different bots running myself already. I like the five minute charts. One minute's a little noisy. Um, anything above 5, 15, 30 starts to get a little too slow for me. One hour, two hours, so it's just, um, to, to me, if you're going to run an automated system, you might as well run it on a fast time that you can't really trade manually on your own. So that being said, Let's create a bot on pink. So we're going to start from scratch with an RSI. Now they've got all kinds in here. You've got your stochastic, you've got you know, momentum strategy, moving average strategies, all kinds you can just start with. Uh, we'll do the RSI strategy. Um, because we're dealing with all coins, the first thing you're going to want to do is default quantity value. 1 million, and that's because we're dealing with Satoshis here, and then pyramiding 
because we are going to be want to launch lots of orders. I'll pyramid up to 100. Um, the rest of this, just to get an idea, we'll just leave as is. Add that to our chart, and we'll see what happens. So you can see, right, we're multiple orders. We did our first buy at 84 here on Pink, bought some more at 76, 70, so 63, 58 starting to bounce. So right now our average probably right around 70, mid 70s. Um, our last sell, right, we sold the top here 101, sold a little bit more here, right up here 115. Uh, we got a buy. Sold quite a bit right before the big pump. That's okay because we bought oh, another sell there. Sell. This is not nearly as active as I expected it to be. Maybe we can change that a little bit. 121 orders, not very much. So maybe we'll lower our length. Well, six that's again a little more accurate. This is what I like to see on the altcoins. Uh, because we did a million contracts, this right here is two Satoshis, your average trades for two Satoshis. So that's that's a lot of orders. As you can see, you know you just sell on the way up, buy on the way down. The back test is good to kind of give you a general idea of what you're dealing with. But once we set up the bot, you're going to see it's actually a little different. You get better entries and better exits thanks to the P equals and the alert syntax. So I don't mind that. I like that. 520 orders, uh, list of trades. So that's since 2016, January, February, March. So we're looking at about six months. So a little under 100 orders a month. So now we got, we like that, what did I have this set at? We got this set at 7 oversold, 30 and 70. Of course you're going to want to play with this yourself. This, again, just an idea, give you an idea how it's worked. Um, now looking at the code, I already forget what we were at, we're at 7. So we'll change this quickly to 7. Um, the strategy is not really that important to us. We're going to make a new link indicator time we're gonna make it a study we just need alerts for the altcoin bots strategy is not nearly as important as the alert syntax this stuff is relevant and for 730 now we just clean up the code a little bit so we'll call this not NA that guy uh, this is our long, so long equals crossover, don't need that anymore, and here short equals this anymore, don't need that, okay so now we just need to plot our long uh, our short color equals red. Let's throw this on the chart, see what happens. Uh, up in green light flow, no alternative. Uh, nope, got an extra one in there. Don't need that. Yeah, shoot, let's see. And now let's add to the chart. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty much all lining up. So we've got our alerts, we've got our RSI strategy ready to go on pink coin. So now the important thing is setting up new alerts. So the RSI strategy alerts, I did not give these names. That's going to make it a little trickier. So let's give it a name so we know what we're calling in the alerts. Move that bad boy again. And I make a new alert. So now we've got our RSI strategy alerts, long and short. So I always use crossing down, not too sure why it's a preference. You can use uh, greater than and it'll catch it at the end if it's spiked. Um, not sure why my preference is here, crossing down, but it is, so 0 0.9, right? So as soon as this spike crosses down, zoom in a little better. As soon as the spike crosses down at the close, we're gonna place our open, which will match the strategy right here. Um, we're going to do this 
once per bar as soon as it happens. Uh, I don't need email. Just do a pop up for now. Uh, this is pink by. So with this, because it's not leverage trading, um, you could if you wanted to do margin trade t equals margin, and then this would of course change to a long, but we're not. Because of the way that we're going to set this up, it's not set up. Um, if you're going to do the margin trading, you're of course going to want in and out. So we're going to buy, uh, we're going to buy, let's say, 100,000 pink each time. And the P equals, this is where the, the true fund comes in. Because our, our strategy showed only about two Satoshis per order on average, right? We don't want to just be flopping orders around. So what I want to do is stay near the top of the books. Right, so for a buy, um, let's say the top order is at 100 Satoshis, I'm going to place my order right on top of it at 100 Satoshis. Or I'm going to, this is a range by adding the first here, we're adding a range. By adding the second negative, we're going to actually subtract from the top. So 100 minus 2 Satoshis. So if the top order in the books right now is 100, I'm going to randomly place a number or in my order either at 100, 99, or 98. Um, I believe that is all we need. Yeah, of course, if you didn't want to do that, you just T equals market or whatnot. But placing the amount of orders we are, like I said, we just want to stay in the books, catch the ups, catch the, catch the wicks up and down. So we're going to put 100,000 order. Um, if you want to stay a little hidden in the altcoins, you know you can do 25,000 to 100,000, and it'll randomly, randomly generate a number between the two. So there's our buy. And now we're going to do the same thing for a sell. Just cross it down, 0.9, once per bar addition. Now, obviously, this is a sell now. A sell. We're going to do the same random amount. Oh. Um, except this time, we're going to put it right top of the books. And we're not going to subtract two Satoshis. We're going to add two Satoshis to go higher. So this one's going to place at 100, 101, or 102. Uh, we create that signal. And now you're going to have a bot running on pink coin using the RSI. Now I think uh, the, one of the most important things of all of this, um, now we're placing a couple Satoshis, we're essentially always in the books. Um, using the RSI kind of gives us a, a logical reason to be in the books where we are. But for the most part, it's just about being in the books. The important thing here is going to be in Poloniex, your trade history. right? You've got your average buy and your average sell. So by monitoring this, you can maintain um, your average buy price lower than your average sell price. <coughs> and of course, it's just a matter of flipping coins at that point. Maintain this. If it starts to get a little too tight for you, you simply come back to your alerts. You know, and just, just now you start set a top of the books. You know, you go negative two down. Well, this is a sell, so we're going to go plus two up and all the way to plus five. Let it run for a little bit. Come back, check how you're doing. It's a little bit of a maintenance thing at first, but once you're on an altcoin, it's pretty hard to lose money. It may be a little slow at first, um, but thanks to TradingView and AutoView, you can set this up on as many coins as you want. Um, of course, this is the simplest of the simplest. If you wanted to go your MACD strategies or get a little more in-depth, go on to Ether or Monero coin and you know play some margin trading. Well, it's going to be a whole different type, but... I think, hope this gives you a general idea. I've got about 10 seconds left of my free video editor, so I'm going to call this one. I'll try and make another video shortly. Um, join us in Slack if you have any questions. Good day.